Section 10.1, Characteristics of Gases. So gases are normally a mixture of different gases, or it's a specific type of element in the gaseous form. There's a few elements that at normal uh, room temperature and normal atmospheric pressure are gases, very, very low molar weight gases. So any of the noble gases, um, are monoatomic, so helium and neon and argon and krypton, xenon. You also have some gases that are normal gases at room temperature that are diatomic. So there's two molecule, or two atoms together in a molecule. Hydrogen is this way, oxygen, nitrogen, and group seven um, compounds like fluorine, chlorine, bromine um, are, are all gas in the gas form. Also, you can increase temperature of any material and turn it into a gas. Normally, if something is in the gas phase that's not usually a gas, uh, it's not called a gas, it's called a vapor. So water vapor is when you take liquid water and boil it and turn it into steam. That would be water vapor. It's still in the gas phase, but it's just called vapor. So Gases um, have some very particular ways that they behave and very um, easy to study. A lot, of, a lot of people think this is one of the easiest chapters in the book in terms of understanding them, uh, how things work. There's a, a few formulas to learn and some things like that, but pretty, pretty logical, uh, easy, gra easy to grasp. But the um, several things that are true about gases are essentially that the most of the space that you see is empty space. So gases only occupy less than 1% of the, of the room that it's in. So it will fill a container. So if you put ga um, a certain amount of gas in a container, it'll fill that container. If you take that same amount of gas and put it in a, in a much bigger container, it still fills the container. It just means that there's more empty space in between the molecules. Water, liquid water doesn't do that. Solids don't do that. So, so filling, a, filling a container is one of the things gases are known for. Also, um, you can compress it. You can take a gas and squeeze it into a smaller space, um, no problem, because there's so much empty space in there. To take those molecules and put them in a smaller space is very easy to do. Liquids normally take up about 70% of the space that they occupy, so there is some empty space, but... Um, liquids are is harder to compress and solids almost impossible to compress there's very little empty space in a solid um, so that's the introduction pretty simple start um, and we'll keep going from here